Let's balance the net ionic equation FeBr3 plus K3PO4. Iron 3 bromide, and this is potassium phosphate. So the first thing we need to do with a net ionic equation, we need to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation here. It looks like if I put a 3 in front of the KBr, I'll have 3 times 1, 3 potassiums, 3 times 1, 3 of the bromine atoms. So those will be balanced. We have iron here and a phosphate ion here and here. This equation is balanced now. At this point, we want to write the states for each substance. That's going to look like this. Compounds with the bromine atom, in general, they're soluble. So both of these are going to be aqueous. Phosphate ion, when you have something with a phosphate ion, in general, it's insoluble unless it's with a group one element like sodium or potassium. Potassium phosphate, that's soluble, aqueous. But iron three phosphate, that's a solid. And that means it's going to be insoluble. It's going to be a precipitate fall to the bottom of the test tube when these two substances react. So we have the states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions, and that's going to give us the complete ionic equation. We don't split solids apart, though, so everything will be split apart except for the iron 3 phosphate. That looks like this. So this is the complete ionic equation, and now we can cross out those spectator ions. They're on both sides. In the reactants on the top here, three bromide ions, and in the products, so spectator ions. We can cross those out. We also, in the reactants, have three potassium ions, and again, in the product, spectator ions, we cross them out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for FeBr3 plus K3PO4. I'll clean this up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the net ionic equation for iron 3 bromide and potassium phosphate. You'll notice the charge is balanced. We have a 3 plus and a 3 minus. That gives us a net charge of 0 here. And in the products, this iron 3 phosphate that's a neutral, net charge of zero. So charge is the same on both sides. And if you count the atoms up, they're the same as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for FeBr3 plus K3PO4. Thanks for watching.